Well, the people have spoken. Let's play some Thief 4. Last time I got a job from Basso, but I have heard tell that there's a cellar in an alley to the left of Basso's. Now, I'm not sure if that means to the left after I come out the back side of Basso uh, from there, or if it means kind of to the left here. I don't think there is an alley over here. Uh, but I guess I'll just quickly check. Yeah, yeah. So, visit the Queen of Beggars. Oh, that's the supply. Oh, duh. Okay, so I guess to the left, so to the left would be this way, so there's an alley. I guess this whole place looks like an Weather's alley, but turning. what do I know? You, you're not having an amusing conversation about sloop and feces. That disturbs me. Anyways, oh, hey. Hey, are you a queen? I have something for all your nefarious needs. What are you boying? Um, okay, so I guess the queen of beggars is either a guy calling himself a queen about to start a successful rock band, or the game is stupid and says one thing and means another. Okay, oh, wait a minute, no, no, no. I, maybe the Queen of Beggars gives me actual upgrades, and this guy gives me equipment. Blunt arrow. Oh, so it's like a noisemaker, kind of, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Food is Food is always good, but how much have I got? Quite a lot, so I guess I'll buy some of this. Seems like a worthy item. Well, I don't really use that many tools. I don't own any. Oh, yeah, that's extremely useful. Hey, and at 4G, I could buy all of them that I can even fit in my little pockets. These gas arrows are only 15 g garrets. Oh, but they're limited in quantity. Well, fine. I don't have any ropes. Maybe I can get to that pointless little piece of loot. Oh, whoa, I'm buying way too many. Holy crap. That's that's not good, but I... You know where to find me. <laughs> Woody a boy. I can't remember that last line he said. Oh, yeah. Come Thank back any time. Well, I guess this is the cellar the guy mentioned. Uh, only I was expecting upgrades instead of equipment. But, hey, okay. Here, well, let's let's I roll with them punches. The Black Ops tried to evict Mortimer. And now, knock out Corpse Z. I wouldn't take. Corpse Z. Corpse Z. Corpse Z. This guy's well, taking a piss in a can. He actually well, is. He had it that's coming, and that's awesome. Uh, obviously, he I'm trying to look at his his parts. They're like, oh, he's taking a piss. I wonder where he's taking it from. I wonder I wonder if he's anatomically correct. Yeah, totally. I'm obviously a guy, so therefore, I want to look at other guys' things in video games. Clearly, that's the stereotype, right? I came to the barrack and didn't go back. Whatever, I don't care about you. Following the week's hangings, Baron Northcrest delivered a short address today, his first since the shocking attempt on his very life. The gathered crowd were visibly moved at the sight of our iron leader, who, much like his metal namesake, has proved unbending in adversity. Oh, such a hard-on for him. Oh, through the, Though the Baron's speech was several hours shorter than his usual oratory, he maintained his plans for the city were clearer than ever before and more urgent. If only the hated conspirators could live to witness his indomitable spirit, then be executed anew. Oh, I want him in my bed. Oh, sadly, the Lady Vivian, always a favorite among her loyal citizenry, was once again absent. The returning procession was cheered across the length of the bridge. Nonetheless, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm done. It's quite possibly the most disturbing thing I've ever said live on the internet. Well, not live, but eh. lively, maybe. Oh, so this is just a big old bar that's moderately fancier than other big old bars. It looks like I can get upstairs somehow, but uh, sloop or starvation. What a choice. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any stairs, and I could probably shoot a rope, but then probably everybody would notice me. Let's see if they do. Hey. 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 Hey, bust out your rope. It's getting late. Oh, you're not allowed, are you? It's because it's a friendly place, you're not allowed to bust out your rope? Or am I using the wrong... Eight, eight, nine, eight. Ropes. Black I'm clicking, I'm clicking. It's like an adventure, but it's not doing anything. Weird. So this, this leads to what? This leads to stone market. Okay, well, what does this lead to over here, then? You know, this. Also stone market. Oh, I don't know. Let's check my map here. So I guess my goal is over this way, I guess. Wait a minute. Okay, there's the raven. Here's a weapons guy, I guess. See, marked on the mini map there, which is actually kind of an oval for some reason. Can I get, like, a proper map? Like a big map? Where the hell? Okay, there we go. So 
it wants me to go here, but for some reason I can go here as well. Um, okay, well this, I don't know, I guess I'll just go where it wants me to like a good little gamer. Consume food from your inventory to regain portions of health. Morning side, get it? Because there's no morning, but there's lots of morning in this here city. People talking without me how... <laughs> Much like Thief 3, there's these big blatant gates, but instead you have to go through a tiny little side passage if you want to get around. It's pretty great. If you want to get up, and if you want to get down, tell you that's the way the world goes round. Until he really got hacking, he could make more than we were getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> hacking, eh? Well, I hope he's making some notoriety for himself by wearing a black hat. That's what I hope. It's very sincere. I don't know why you thought I was joking, but this is actually pretty creepy. I like, I like this. I like the blue light. I don't like brown, I like blue. It's well-known fact, so if you want to please me, then just stick blue all over my naked stomach and I'll be like, oh yeah. Okay, seriously, that's the last creepy thing I'll say. Maybe. Oh, hey, that guy lit the torch. It's freaking great. I wonder why it wasn't lit before. I don't know. You gonna say something funny and amusing? Give some money to a beggar or just give light to a beggar? What is this, Banjo-Tooie? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I guess it's kind of like linear hallways. This is modern FPS design. Oh, except maybe I should be looking up or something. But, yeah, I really like the atmosphere here. If I wasn't talking like an asshole so much, I... This is actually really nice. I mean, yeah, it's linear corridors and stuff, but I just mean like the aesthetics are really, really good here. <laughs> That's the last of them. There'll be more tomorrow. I'm starting to think they're the lucky ones. Lucky, eh? Some of these gloomers bite off their tongues to make it stop. Some push in their eyes or their ears. Luck wants nothing to do with this city. You know, that's the thing, I mean, people say this plot is generic or something, but, I mean, like, I don't know exactly what's going on, like, they performed some ritual, and I guess that caused the gloom, presumably, but, like, how? I'm very interested to find what the pieces are that link the pieces together. Don't nobody spoil it for me, and especially don't nobody say, oh, it's more disappointing than you think, because if you do, well, I'll go, oh, okay, and meekly walk into a corner and play with my butterfly friends, okay? Okay. Oh, it's a graveyard, of course, yeah. I think it said that in text or something. Yeah, graveyards all must need mist floating along the ground. There's a double-length Cadillac-style death cart. I'm not quite dead. I don't want to go in the cart. Oh, obligatory getting old reference must be made. Ooh, hey, the clock tower is speaking to me. She's a good old relationship partner. Yes, she is. Me and that clock tower, we are as in love as in lovers could be. Um, so, but it... I don't know. The objective told me to go see the, the Queen old of Chapel on Morningside. Beggars. The court of the Queen of Beggars. For some reason, I uh, I seem to be uh, going southwards when I thought I should be going northwards. What is my map upside down or something? Like what? There, there's the map. There's where I need to go. It's kind of tilted like that. Yeah, it is upside down. Why is my map the other way around? Are you trying purposely to confuse me for no reason, game? <laughs> there are things that I like about this game, you know? I mean, there are things that are dumb, but then some of these environments are pretty, pretty neat looking. And if only they were more focused on a slightly more open game experience, it would be really, really awesome. Some stuff reminds me of, well, maybe not Ravenholm, but like some kind of, well... Yeah, not at all, but just like busted up, obviously. This place busted up and it reminds me of other places that are busted up. This looks like it was once a church and it's open now. See, like, yeah, Resident Evil 4, that's what this reminds me of, and it's awesome. Yeah, jeez. Raven Home Resident Evil, they will start with R, clearly. Okay, the old chapel. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's a lonely night. Best kind. Ah, uh, Garrett. You walk a path few would wish. That's the only one I know. Quite.
You know what they say about me. That you know everything that happens in this city. Not everything. Just the important things. What brings you here? Seeking my counsel? A year ago, I was at the Northcrest Mansion. Something went wrong. What happened to me? What happened to Aaron? A year ago. Men who believed themselves to know best try to control something they didn't fully understand for their own ends. The balance has shifted. We can all feel it. That's your answer. When my beggars found you after the accident, they thought you were dead. But you were not dead. So we healed your broken body and brought you from the city to, to keep you safe while we waited. But then, just after the gloom started, something began to wake you. It was time for you to return home. This city grows sick. It will tell you all in time, if you choose to listen. Careful, Garrett. There are worse things in the shadows than you. <laughs> All right. Oh, a point. Oh, FP, a flower point. Okay, so the Queen of Beggars is not a beggar because she's wearing nice earrings and whole character is cheesy and the dialogue is cheesy and her lip syncing is not good, but excellent cinematography, though. And you know what? I think the motion capture does work pretty well in the cinematics, except maybe on her lip syncing, but like, Garrett looks really awesome in the cinematics. I mean, obviously, they probably didn't use motion capture for the uh, real-time stuff, as it looks pretty bad, but yeah, that's this game in a nutshell, really. Like, good and bad smushed together at the same time inextricably. I, I kind of want to go back in there because... But I can't, but yeah, okay. So I got some other objective I didn't pay attention to just now because I was babbling on. So let's just check out my objectives. Go to the old foundry over there. Well, I guess I'll just do what the game tells me because that's pretty great. But I got a focus point, which I don't know. Focus upgrades. Focus upgrade. What? What's all this crap? I thought focus was focus. I didn't realize it was all this other crap. Hmm. So it's kind of hilarious binary ternary upgrades instead of proper upgrade okay this is totally dishonored like what the hell well this sounds useful but the problem is i'm probably not ever going to remember to use any of this stuff so this is all during focus and i barely even remember to use that hmm well that efficiency seems good so i guess i'll i guess i'll do that i don't freaking know probably the worst decision ever because i could just use flowers but hey i'm the worst guy so uh you know yeah. Oh, hey, great. Hey, wait a minute. The Queen of Beggars isn't going to give me upgrades or anything. Ooh. No, I need tools. I still don't know where to get tools. That ammo guy wasn't going to sell me tools, unless it was in a different tab or something? Hey, look at this guy. He's smoking in order to get rid of another disease or something. Also, he's smoking nothing. It's ridiculous looking. I don't know if I can actually get back to that alley in Basso place because this game is like, LOL, you can only go where we tell you, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Start the chat. Hmm. Oh, crap! I can get back! Well, that's the Cripple Burke. Even though it's kind of out back of the Cripple Burke, but hey, you know. You. You won't be able to resist my prices. <laughs> oh, no, no, but... <sighs> See, I knew, I thought it would be in tabs, and alas, people were probably yelling at me a whole bunch. Buy trinkets. Why would I want to buy trink... Oh, because the... Really? 
Whatever. Remember when how good you were at Thief depended on your actual skill instead of all this fake RPG crap? Remember that? Well, anyways. So, it was okay. Buy tools. Ooh, okay. Bow balancing. <laughs> okay, that's kind of interesting. Well, a wrench. He doesn't have a screwdriver, but a wrench is better than nothing, so... There we are. Lockpick quality. Well, I'm able to... Hmm, I'm able to pick locks pretty well already, so I guess I don't really need that. Okay. Stick to the shadows. Thank you, sir. I should have used that light and shadow detection focus upgrade instead of efficiency, but I always pick one option and then change my mind at the last minute and pick a blatantly worse one because I'm the second guesser supreme. Um, yeah. Anyways, this is slightly shorter than usual video, but uh, it is kind of in between missions, I guess. So uh, before Garrett gets all tired out like freaking Leon in here, this really looks like RE4 actually. But uh, hey, I like RE4 a lot. I happen to think it's one of the greatest games ever. So uh, hey, too bad. This is gonna be the next mission. Hopefully, I can make a hard save now. Uh, so uh, see you guys next time. And bye for now.